As a society, we have this gas station mindset of, I have to find a gas station, but I charge this vehicle at home, just like my laptop or my phone. I plug this thing in when I go to bed, and in the morning, it's fully charged and ready to go. So when you get your Bolt TV, you have a number of options when it comes to setting your charging schedule. And we make it easy for customers to program their vehicle. For example, location-based charging allows you to set your vehicle preferences to maybe start charging at 11 p.m. and then every time you're back at that location, the vehicle remembers that schedule. But anytime you're trying to charge outside of that location, your vehicle will begin to charge immediately. And we also allow for what we call priority charging, which is I'll set my vehicle to start charging as soon as I plug in and we will allow it to charge until 40%, and then we'll taper charging based on when it's best for the grid and when your utility may be giving you the lowest rates. There's two ways to think about it. I go back and forth. Some weeks I um, don't charge my vehicle until I absolutely have to, and other weeks I plug in at every opportunity I have. Everything can be done from within the vehicle and customers can also check the status of their charging and how far along they are through the My Chevrolet mobile app. I always say charging takes me five seconds because it's truly just the time it takes for me to plug in my video. Being able to use one device like an electric motor in, in so many different ways. Sometimes simplicity is elegant. The Bolt EV is equipped with a regen on demand paddle. Instead of using a hydraulic brake, you can reach up and grab that paddle. When you're slowing down, we're using the electric motor as a generator to capture that energy and put it back into the battery. In the Bolt EV, we offer a low mode, which is essentially one pedal driving. In that mode, you'll be able to control the vehicle to a full stop using just the accelerator pedal. As you speed up, you depress the pedal. As you find a speed that you're comfortable with, you hold the pedal steady. And as you pull back on the pedal, you actually turn the motor into a generator and create energy that is stored back in the pack. Even if you are in one pedal drive and you want a little more braking or you want to take a little more control of it, you can use it in combination with regen on demand and maximize the amount of regenerative braking that you're putting back into the battery system. You're not getting as much wear and tear on your brakes and it's so much smoother using an electric motor that way. It's one of those features that you just can't live without it once you've had it.